Before making any changes to the treatment plan, it is a good idea to go to File, Save Project As, and save a production version of the treatment plan, leaving the original treatment plan unchanged. The inner diameter of the guide tube should be set to be 0.05 millimeters larger than the outer diameter of the metal cylinder which will be inserted into the guide. For example, if the outer diameter of the metal cylinder is 6.02 millimeters, then the inner diameter of the guide tube should be set to be 6.07 millimeters. The height of the guide tube should be set to match the height of the metal cylinder minus any lip that the metal cylinder might have. For example, if a 5mm metal cylinder is going to be placed into the surgical guide, but the top 1mm is a lip, then the height of the guide tube should be set to 4mm. The offset is the distance from the implant top to the top of the guide tube. This value can be changed to match the drill stop on the drill to make sure that the drill stops at the proper depth. The drill length needs to be the implant length plus the offset plus any lip on the metal cylinder which is going to be used. For example, a 10 millimeter implant with a 9 millimeter offset and a 1 millimeter lip on the metal cylinder will create a drilling length of 20 millimeters. The outer diameter of the guide tube should be set to be 2 millimeters larger than the inner diameter. This value can be set automatically by pressing the prepared guide tubes button. The prepared guide tubes button also copies the settings that were done for this guide tube to all the other guide tubes that have a check on the implant list.